Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing a new or soon to be a new fragrance from Zoologist Perfumes and it's Camel. So if you'd like to know what I think of this fragrance, then keep watching. First, if you're wondering, this hasn't been officially released yet. It's scheduled to be released in December 2017. Um, Victor was kind enough to let me purchase the bottle ahead of time, so thank you so much, Victor. I did buy this. I just want to throw that out there. I know that this review is coming about a month and a half earlier than the release, but I did want to let you guys know that I did purchase this. So I wanted to talk to you guys about this fragrance and review it, and that's what this video is going to be. So let's get into the fragrance itself. The fragrance itself is from Christian Corbinel, and he has the same nose behind the uh, new formulation of Panda. Now I did do a review of that. I will link it below if you're interested. And I'm really excited to see him take on another fragrance with Zoologist. As you guys know with Zoologist, Victor works with some of the most prominent noses in uh, the community. Some fantastically, exceptionally talented people to create a really beautiful, unique, conceptual, and cohesive line that is Zoologist. So whenever Zoologist comes out with something new, I'm always not skeptical, skeptical, but really excited to see how it's going to fit in with the Zoologist lineup. So Camel is definitely one of those fragrances that I was really excited for, especially when I read the notes and kind of learned about the inspiration behind this fragrance. Um, this is the box it comes in if you are not familiar. I love Zoologist packaging. The art is fantastic. So let's get into the notes and I'm going to read them right from here. The top notes are dried fruits, frankincense, palm date, and rose. Um, at the heart, it has amber, cedar, cinnamon, incense, jasmine, myrrh, and orange blossom. And the base notes are civet, musk, oud, sandalwood, tonka bean, vanilla, and vetiver. Now, when I hear notes like this, I expect it to have um, a lot of complexity. Obviously, there's a lot of different notes. But with uh, things like this, too, I, with fragrances like this, too, with this variety of different notes, I want it to have layers. I don't want a fragrance like this to have... I don't want it to be linear. I want it to take me on a journey. And that's what a lot, if not most, of zoologist fragrances do. They take you on this really beautiful journey. They're very transportive. And that's something that I love about the creations that Victor has. So this uh, fragrance, I had those same expectations. I had that, you know, I was, expectations run high with zoologists. As you guys know, they're one of my favorite niche houses. They're one of the houses I'm really super excited about when I hear new release, uh, about a new release. And I definitely had a lot of high expectations regarding this fragrance because of the oud, because of the incense, um, and because I was expecting something really exotic and transportive. So before I get into the journey that this fragrance takes me on, I wanted to talk to you guys about its performance. Um, with a fragrance like this, I do expect it to be kind of a beast. I want it to stick to my skin. I want it to be really loud. Fragrances like this, I want to perform, and it does. I get about 8 to 10 hours of wear on my skin with about a medium application, which is about 6 spritz. Um, if I apply more, I can get way longer than 10 hours, which is absolutely fantastic. And this has fantastic projection. This is definitely a fragrance that's going to make an impression, but it's not so loud to where it's suffocating. So it emanates uh, longer than arm's length, but it's a really nice intoxicating scent cloud that's going to draw people into you. Now because this is an incense spiced oriental fragrance and it does project pretty loudly, I wouldn't recommend this for professional environments like class or the theater. But if you're looking for a really exotic, beautiful scent to make a statement, this is definitely one I would recommend for dates. It actually works really well in the daytime and the evening. You can dress it up, dress it down. It's very versatile. So overall, I think this performs and projects amazing. So in that regards, it's super successful. So let's talk about if I actually like this fragrance. And the answer is obviously I do. I purchased a bottle. I got sent a sample of it. I used through my sample. 
and I messaged Victor. I'm like, when can I buy Camel? I'm almost out of my sample and I, I need more because it's that good. And he was like, you know, I'll let you buy it early. And I was like, thank you. So, um, so when it comes down to this fragrance, I was immediately enraptured upon first sniff. You can definitely say this was a love at first sniff for me. There's something about this fragrance that takes you to the desert, but in the romantic way that you think the desert would be in your head and not how it actually is. It's not dry, it's not hot, you're not choking or suffocating. It's beautiful and romantic and whimsical and strong. It's something fantastic about this. Now the notes that really come out on my skin are specifically the rose, a lot of the incense, and I get a lot of the civet and the vetiver. And the oud is there too, which is really, really nice. Although that there's some kind of creamy, like smoky, like qualities to this fragrance, the dried fruits in this with the incense and the vetiver make it less fruity and syrupy and more of like crisp and dry and almost like hay or straw. But in a positive way. Like if you thought about walking into a tent in the middle of an oasis and it's ornamented, it's ornamental, there's incense burning, there's a fire, people around you are perfumed and opulent, that's that's the, where this takes you. This takes you on the romantic trip to deserts in your mind, like almost out of a romance novel, but in a very sophisticated, elegant, and wearable way. It's easy to think of something with civet and oud and must to come off way too animalic and to come off a little bit funky, but it actually blends beautifully with the dried fruits and the rose. Everything really works together perfectly. Nothing is blended, nothing is harmonious, everything is in contrast to each other, but it all works together absolutely amazingly and I love that. There's a lot of complexity, there's a lot of layers, and this definitely isn't a linear scent. It starts off a little bit fruity and a little bit strong and it gets to be more stronger, more stronger, I know that's not a word, it gets to be stronger and a little bit more intense when it comes down to the sandalwood and the oud and the vetiver and the incense notes, but the entire time you still have the beauty of the opening notes. They never completely disappear and I love the journey that this takes me on. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I can say with all certainty this is another, at least in my humble opinion, fantastic offering from Zoologist. If you're looking for something a little bit more substantial, a little bit more on the oriental side, masculine, strong, rugged, but still transportive and conceptual, this is an absolutely beautiful fragrance from Zoologist and I am really truly honestly in love with it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always guys, if you like my videos, remember to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe because it's free and I'm free. And I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy. Have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Bye.